Okay, in order to give the opportunity or the selection for the guest to select different styles like widescreen, square, or portrait, or whatever you have, okay, you first of all need to select in the setting lightning bolt down here, select, un uncheck this box, select by current photo size. Uncheck that. Okay, once you've unchecked that, you are now giving the guest the opportunity to select any one of the favorite layouts that you have in square or in wide or in portrait. Okay, you have to also remember that you don't want to have too many layouts as favorites in my Y, and they should all be the same style. If it's strips, make sure that they're all strips, whether they're vertical or horizontal, but it's strips because your printer can only cut one, two inch strips, two of them, or a full four by six. If you're doing strips and you got it set for cutting four by six, you're going to have to manually cut the singles. Also, in order to turn off the favorites, you can go in here and select each one and click on the heart to turn it off. Okay, or you can go, or you can go and click on the lightning bolt under each one of these and go to the eyeball with the line through it and check the ones you want to keep. Okay, red hearts. Okay, so these are the widescreen ones. If I went into the square ones. I would check these are the ones I want to I want to keep in the square only these one two three four five and close I'm I don't have any portrait ones set up right now with single uh, with double strips okay so I can't have that as an option once I've done that then you need to go into the guest selection and check on change photo layout screen so that a button will be on the screen when they start the session and it will ask them do you want to select a different layout and how many layouts do you want to show on the screen from one to six one two three four or six okay and it's in an even number of one full screen two or three three or four or six okay so that's number two, uh, and let's see if there was some other place. Uh, right now, I think that's it. I'm going to go back to my photo layouts window. And I'm going to put this back over on to, to, to my widescreen. So I've got one of those layouts sitting there. And now when I click on start a session, it should bring up select the layout. It will take time the first time for it to populate the screen with the layouts. Once you have populated the screen with the layouts all the way through all the different layouts you have, I've got four different ones. They can pick any one of these they want or check, click to go to another screen with four more and these are all wide right now and it should be changing here in a moment. I should pause it and let it, I'm going to pause it and let it cl clear everything. Okay, what I did was I paused it so you could see that once I've populated the screen with all of these, they'll switch ra rather quickly. Okay, but you'll notice this one's square now. These are square layouts. Okay, and these are square layouts. This 4x3 one should not be in there and I'll have to turn the red heart off on it. Okay, and now it will switch back over to the widescreen layouts. So you can't have it set up for that. I'm going to pause this here. Once they've selected it, it goes to next, and it should start Get ready. the session and do that layout. Get ready. I'm going to go through Two, the whole layout real one. quick, and I'll pause Two, this. One. Developing photos. Developing photos. Okay, I, I did the session and paused it so we'd save a little bit of time. It's asking me, do I want to print? I'm not going to print, but this was the layout it made. I'm skipping the print. Hopefully it won't ask me for anything else. It's assembling the GIF because I'm doing a regular layout, and it will still do that. Do I want to upload the GIF that it created? This is it here, and this is the layout 
you can have it set up for that. I'm not doing any uploads. So basically, you can have it set up to do wide or square or portrait all in the same photo layout style. Thank you. If they're all strips, they Thank all you. need to be strips. If they are all full 4x6, four they all need to be 4x6. And it will only select the ones you have set up in your favorites, in the layouts with red hearts. So if, if they've got red hearts and you've set them up, those are the ones you're allowing them to use. So if you had two or three in, in each one, it would be much easier to find and go to each one. As you can see here, I only have one, two, three, four, five in the square. And over here in the wide, I have, I think, seven set up with favorites over in, in the wide. Okay, maybe more than that. So that's pretty much how it's done. Hope that helped.